Honda positions the Accord Sport in between the entry LX and mid-level X trims, so we'll use that jumping off point to see what makes the Sport the pick of the litter. First off, the Sport utilizes a high-flow exhaust with dual tips that manages to squeeze a bit more horsepower and torque from the 2.4-liter inline four-cylinder that it shares with its brethren making for total outputs of 189 horsepower and 182 pounds to foot, versus 185 and 181 elsewhere in the lineup. Does it result in a noticeable seat of pants increase in performance? Not really, but we appreciate Honda's dedication to the concept. Next up are the 19-inch wheels, which dwarf the 16-inchers on the base car, as well as the 17-inchers on the X. In fact, the only other Accord to get 19-inch rolling stock is the Top Dog Touring, which starts at more than $35,000. The brakes get the first-class treatment, too, with 12.3-inch ventilated front rotors and 11.1-inch solid rotors in the rear. The LX makes do with 11.1-inch units all around, and the X and XL get an 11.5 11.1-inch combo, the only other Accord trim to get the large front binders again, is the Turing. Cosmetic touches for the Sport include a body color decklid spoiler and rocker panel extensions, both also shared with the Turing. Inside, the Sport gets exclusive aluminum pedals and a leather-wrapped steering wheel borrowed from the XL models and above. The Sport's lateral acceleration number did little to disrupt the Accord road holding status quo, its 0.86 grams of grip bettering the aforementioned X's 0.80 number, but also laying a tiny smackdown on the 0.84 grams we extracted from the 2016 Accord Coupe V6, results you'd expect from a model named Sport, right? Braking performance, however, doesn't stick to the plan. Requiring 183 feet to stop from 70 miles per hour, the Accord Sport consumed 5 more feet than the 2016 Accord X, despite the X being equipped with smaller, 11.5-inch front rotors. We suspect the problem was the Continental Conti Pro Contact all-season tires, although the rubber was capable of delivering decent cornering performance. Our tester singled out the tires as the primary culprit in the substandard braking number. Overall, then, the question is, does the sport's cherry-picked list of features transform the Accord into a value-priced, ready-made sport sedan? That answer depends largely on what you are looking for and where you are coming from. Buyers familiar with the Accord's light and precise nature, spacious, conservatively styled interior, and attractive value, performance balance, the very attributes that have landed the Accord on our annual 10 best cars list more times than any other single vehicle, likely will find what attracted them to the car in the first place, only refined and honed for a slightly more engaging experience. People looking for a low-cost alternative to a brawny, rear or all-wheel drive to tonic pavement pounder will need to realign their sensibilities to the Accord sports life. Front-wheel drive demeanor. But for those interested in getting behind the wheel of a true fun-to-drive four-door sedan without pillaging Junior's college fund, the Accord Sport's $25,000 price of entry is pretty compelling, and the only decision to make is the color.